plants feel pain. That's silly nonsense. So, uh, so Gary Urofsky ha has to deal with this 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 silliness that because uh, there was someone in, in like ap during the Q and A section after one of his lectures where brought that that nonsense up. What about uh, plants feel pain too? As if he's never heard that one before. Oh, what? Plants feel, oh, you got me there. Plants feel pain, oh. No, he didn't say that. Gary Urofsky, um, so he, he says, and, and uh, this is another point that Earthly Ned makes. Plants don't have a central nervous system. So they're not they're not sentient. And I, I have a definition here of sentient that I'll read off. Okay, so sentient is conscious, conscious, capable of feeling and perception. Um Responding with feeling, capable of responding emotionally rather than intellectually. It's another extended part of the definition. So conscious, conscious, capable of feeling and perception. Plants are not sentient. There's another. There's another um, point that Earthling Ed makes about about that. Silliness, plants feel pain. Um, I guess it's related to religion too. Like, uh, why would God, or why would nature allow this? Where um, if plants really did feel pain, they are rooted in the ground. They can't get away. They they don't have a mode. Uh, of transportation, they're they're just stuck there, unlike um, animals in the anim animal agriculture industry. They can move around, they can they can get away if somebody's trying to hurt them. Plants can't do that; they're just stuck there. So it would be really horrible if if you want to say God or nature designed it, or plant if plants actually like could feel pain in the same way that like a turkey or a chicken or a cow would if they felt it if they felt pain if they had a central nervous system how horrible would that be cuz you're just stuck there you can't get away so why would nature or god allow that so it logically it doesn't make sense this plants feel pain nonsense so that was that was earthly dad But back to Gary Urofsky. Um, he says, <coughs> what do we call someone that's in a coma? Who's, who's not aware of their surroundings, they're just laying there. They don't, they don't have that consciousness. Like a person would when they're awake, they're just laying there. They don't. They're not aware of anything. What do we? What do we call that? That person? They're in a vegetable state. They're not in a cow state. They're not in a pig state. They're in a vegetable state. So they're not. They're not aware. And um, another another kind of uh, funny example he gives, it, Gary Urofsky gives, is um, so when there when there's a when there's a fire in a building, the fireman goes in the building to rescue the people first, 
and then if there are any uh, pets in there, any dogs or cats, the fireman will go in there and make sure that the dog or cat gets out safely. And it never does it ever happen where the fireman goes back in a third time and uh, and uh, says to the other fireman, let's go and let's go and rescue those those flowers in there. Let's go let's go rescue the, the basil plant, the rhododendron. We gotta rescue those plants in there. No 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 fireman ever goes into a burning building to rescue plants. Plants feel pain. What a bunch of nonsense. What a pathetic pathetic excuse to say, oh well plants feel pain, so I should be able to eat animals. Pathetic. And then um uh there's a there's a video where Gary talks about uh, visiting Jerusalem. <coughs> He's in a market in Jerusalem, and uh, and uh, he said he says it's any it's 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 anything but holy in this market because uh, th these uh, these uh, vendors in the market they're 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 trying to sell all these religious uh, products the crosses uh, Bibles Korans they're all like eager to sell their uh, religious products in in the Holy Land Jerusalem and Gary Gary's with his girlfriend uh, in Jerusalem and and she's going around picking up like crosses and, and other religious items like looking yep oh made in China made in China made in China so it's kind of like uh, commercialism capitalism commercialism commercialism in the uh, in the Holy Land Commercialism principles, the principle and methods of commerce, uh, acting for profit, excessive emphasis on profit making. Uh, not really capitalism. So yeah, commercialism, kind of like kind of like Christmas is. Um, and uh, uh, so, so back to the the uh, Gary's uh, visit to uh, Jerusalem. Um, he comments on uh, the wall there. I believe it's called uh, the Wailing Wall. Um, so Gary. Uh, Gary Yurofsky uh, says how uh, there's people that are bowing and praying to a wall. And Gary's like, he's, Gary Yurofsky's thinking, what are you doing? It's a wall. And he says, God is not in a wall. All these people worship man-made objects as if God was in them, Gary says. Gary says God is in his creations. He's not in man-made objects. God is in his creations, the animals. Which would include us, since we're animals. 
So we should be treating um, the animals with respect if we want to be like, like. kind to what God wants, is Gary's view. I think he says it's, I think he might say it's, it's blasphemous. It's, it's kind of blasphemous to, to kill God's creations, the animals. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of sacrificing going on during the Bible times. So people did not feel that way back then. Most people don't feel that way now. Most people feel that uh, God put these animals here for us to eat. <coughs> God is not in a wall. And uh, so Gary goes on to say how uh, if someone was outside barbecuing, it would be a party. I got some typos here. It would be a party if someone was uh, barbecuing. And people would love the... Uh, the chef that seasoned the cut up corpse of the animal. We take the Bible or the flag, both man-made objects, and burn them. And people would form a mob and there would be a riot. I think he might have put it, uh, people would be screaming bloody murder. Over uh, the destruction of man-made objects. Uh, uh, but they wouldn't over actual murder of animals. They would be having a party over that. Most people would. There go the neighbors again. Um, oh. This this next part, um, I was reminded of it because I was like, I was I, I think I was kind of laughing at something I said, how like how I sometimes amuse myself. And I was reminded about, there. there's this one video where um, Gary says something, and at the end of it he says, I cracked myself up. So he was amused at what he said. Um, so he was making the observation about like um, continuing on with the religious thing uh, about uh, how uh, people uh, that are religious they uh, they respect man-made objects, and uh, so there's these priests that have these really big hats, uh, different different religions like Orthodox and uh, there's the Pope too, so they have these really big hats, and uh, and Gary makes the point that God doesn't care how big your hat is. God's not looking down at all of His creations, and it's like, oh wow, well, look at look at my my uh, my creation down there wearing this really big hat. So that was funny. The silliness about uh, how religious people feel like they need to wear a really big hat. Because it's important. 